Central uh, mogul gets was in uh, locked in upper circuit today uh, after legendary Wall Street investor and the company's promoter Carl Icke and uh, signaled that he's talking to Federal Mogul Corporation Private. This is the parent company of the listed entity in India. I remember CNBC TV 18 had covered the stock on mid cap mania uh, in one of our segments on July 11, 2016. Nigel D'Souza is here with a lowdown on the company. Nigel. Well, thanks for that. First, let's give you a bit of a background. Up. Federal Mogul Corporation, that's the company that's listed in the United States. And Carl Icahn first took over this company in 2007. Gradually, his hike stayed in the foreign listed company to around 82%. And in 2011, in fact, he tried to offload the stake because he had appointed a couple of uh, advisors like Lazard and he'd asked them to sell the company. That didn't really happen. And he's still holding on to the company. Uh, what happened in 2016? He decided to delist the entity. Remember, his holding is all, already at around 82%. His delisting de offer came in at around $7 uh, per share. And at that point of time, the share price was less than $5 per share. So he had given an, an offer price of close to around uh, 70 to around 80% higher than what the price was at that point of time. In June 2016, he even upped the delisting price from $7 to $8. And yesterday it's, itself, he's hiked that uh, delisting uh, price to around $9. 25 uh, cents. So that's about the, the foreign listed entity. But what impact does it have on the Indian listed uh, federal mogul? Remember, the delisting offer is for the foreign listed em entity. So the street rally was assuming that maybe something positive could come out even for the Indian listed entity. And that means that there was just a sentiment positive that played out. And that's where the stock ended with a gain of around uh, 20 percent. It's more of a hope. It's not a compulsion, but if in fact there was a change of guard, that's Carl Icahn sells out and we get a new, uh, new promoter in there, then there would be a mandatory open offer, but that clearly hasn't ha happened. Just to give you a quick background, uh, we had Federal Mogul uh, Corporation that bought into this company in 2016 from the Nanda Nandas. They totally existed, exited the company at that point of time, and over the span of time, they have in fact increased their stake via some rights issue. Keep the stock on your radar.